Riding a bicycle. You and your bicycle have combined mass of 80 kilograms. When you reach the base of a bridge, you are traveling along the road at 5 meters per second. So here we have a speed of uh, 5 meters per second. At the top of the bridge, you have climbed a vertical distance of 5.2 meters and slowed to 1.5 meters. So this is our initial speed. Final speed is 1.5 meters per second. Ignore work done by friction and any inefficiency in the bike or your legs. Part A. What is the total work done on you and your bicycle when you go from the base to the top of the bridge? Part B. How much work have you done with the force you apply to the pedals? Okay, so uh, first of all, let's uh, talk about potential energy and kinetic energy of the system. Uh, potential energy... I'm going to call U. So in uh, part A, when I'm at the base of the bridge, uh, I call my potential energy, initial potential energy, zero joules. And when I'm at the top of the bridge, the total mass, m total times gravitational acceleration times H, so H is equal to 5.2 meters. This is the gravitational acceleration, G, pointing down. And uh, I will have, since I have a total mass of 80 kilograms, together with my bicycle, I will have 80 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second square times 5.2 meters, that's the vertical distance from the base, uh, we will obtain 4076.8 joules. So the change in the potential energy is final potential energy minus initial potential energy is 4076.8 joules. I call the kinetic energy of the system K. Initial kinetic energy is one half uh, total mass V initial squared. This is one half times total mass was 80 kilograms. My initial speed at the base was 5 meters per second. So this is 25. That gives me 1000 joules. The final kinetic energy is one half M total V final square, which is one half times 80 times my final speed, 1.5 meters per second, 1.5 squared. That gives me uh, 90 joules. So the change in kinetic energy of the system, final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy is 90 minus 1000 which is minus 910 joules. The mechanical, total mechanical energy of the system, mechanical energy, I call E mechanical. This is kinetic energy plus the potential energy. And the change in the mechanical energy of the system is delta K plus delta U. Uh, this is um, change in potential energy is 4076.8. Uh, change in kinetic energy, so let's do this properly. Kinetic energy change was not minus 910. Potential energy change was 4076.8. So 3166.8 joules change in the mechanical energy of the system. Now, I read part A carefully. What is the total work done on you and your bicycle when you go from the base to the top of the bridge? 
So how do we calculate total work done on a system? We find the net work done on the system. The net work done is the work done by the net force. So I know that the work done by the net force must be equal to the change in kinetic energy of the system. This is work kinetic energy theorem. All right, so I find that the net work done on the system is the change in kinetic energy, which is minus 910 joules. All right. Now I move on to part B. Part B is asking me, how much work have you done with the force you apply to the pedals? Okay, so we apply a force to the pedals, we're doing some work, and uh, also gravity is doing some work, because we're changing the height of the system. So, uh, we, we ignore any friction, any inefficiencies in the system, so this is mentioned uh, in the problem statement, any friction, any inefficiency in the bike or your legs, so therefore, we're applying a force doing some work and gravity is doing some work. Therefore, the net work done on the system is due to you and gravity. All right. Now, that means the change in kinetic energy of the system is uh, work done by you. And here we have to note that work done by gravity is equal to, so this is work done by gravity, this is equal to minus the change in potential energy. Why? Because work done by a conservative force is minus the change in potential energy and gravitational force is a conservative force. So this is our work potential energy theorem. And therefore, uh, the work done by gravity is minus 4076.8 joules because gravita gravitational force is minus du dy it's a conservative force. All right. So with that, you would find that the change in kinetic energy of the system is work done by U plus work done by gravity, which is minus the change in potential energy. So work done by U is the net work done on the system minus uh, the change in uh, potential energy so work done by u is delta k uh, plus delta u right so you can see that uh, it is w net delta k so plus delta u, so this will be plus delta u. So uh, we have uh, 4076.8 joules, that's plus delta u, uh, minus 910. So this is equal to the change in mechanical energy of the system as well, which is 3166.8 joules which is 3,170 joules when it is reduced to three significant figures. And I see that all the numbers are given with three significant figures. So uh, you can say that uh, the force that you apply on uh, the system by uh, pedaling this bicycle 
is going to be responsible for the change in mechanical energy of the system. So the total change in the kinetic energy plus the potential energy. Therefore, work done by U is equal to actually change in mechanical energy of the system. But we, we can see that the net work done on the system is work done by U plus the work done by gravity. And work done by gravity is minus the change in potential energy due to work potential energy theorem. So delta K plus delta U is work done by U, which is the change in mechanical energy of the system. So that's the external work done on a system is equal to the change in mechanical energy of the system. So therefore, you apply a force on the system of you and the bicycle, an external force, in order to cause a change in the mechanical energy of the system. Okay, so uh, we have, uh, we are riding a bicycle at the base of the uh, bridge, we have an initial speed 5 meters per second on top, our speed has decreased, the kinetic energy is decreasing, while the potential energy is increasing, but at the same time, we're applying a force on the pedals, so we want to know what is the total work done on you and the bicycle, so that's the net work done on you and the bicycle, which according to work kinetic energy theorem is the change in kinetic energy, and how much work have you done uh, by applying a force on the pedals, that is the work, uh, external work done on the system, which is the change in mechanical energy of the system. So we calculated the change in kinetic energy to be minus 910 joules, kinetic energy is decreasing. So the net work done on the system, the work done by the net force on the system is minus 910 joules. Uh, the work done by U is basically the net work done on the system uh, minus the work done by the gravitational uh, force. The change in kinetic energy of the system, which is the net work done on the system, is work done by U minus delta U, where the work done by gravity is equal to minus delta U, work potential energy theorem, because gravitational force is a conservative force, it's minus du dy, and therefore the work done uh, by U is the net work done, delta K plus delta U, which is equal to the change in mechanical energy of the system and it has to be reduced to three significant figures so it's going to be 3170 joules when reduced to three significant figures.